All right, so this video here, I'm going to show you how to find the derivative of a square root function using a little formula or a shortcut. Okay, so probably what you learned, and you know, your, your teacher may have shown you this little shortcut, but if they didn't, then what you learned to take the deriv derivative is to rewrite this as a one-half power and then use the chain rule okay and and that's fine and everything but uh, let me show you a little shortcut to doing this and th th there's a little formula so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna derive the formula for you first okay I'm gonna show you where it comes from so basically what we have is we have y equals the square root of some function okay so you see this 3x squared plus 5 that would be this f of x here okay so what you've learned to do is say y equals f of x okay raised to the one half and then you would use the chain rule so y prime you would bring the one half down <clears throat> times f of x okay subtract one so that gives you negative one half and then what do you remember what you do when you're doing the chain rule it's times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses so times the derivative of f of x okay now let's look at this this is y prime is equal to f of x to the negative one half times f prime of x all that over two okay now i can bring this down and that'll change the sign of the exponent so i get y prime is equal to f prime of x over uh, f of x raised to the positive one half times two. Now I could have wrote the two in front, but it doesn't matter right now. So y prime is f prime of x over, now I'm gonna write the two first, and then I'm gonna rewrite this as the square root of f of x, okay? So here's our formula, okay? So, so, so what did we do? We took the derivative of the square root of f of x, okay? And this is the formula you can use to take the derivative. So it's really, it's really simple. So all we have to do is, whenever we're taking the derivative of the square root, all we do is take this square root of f of x and write it in the denominator and times two. Okay, so all it is in the denominator, it's two times whatever this is. And then in the numerator, it's the derivative of what's underneath the square root. So let me show you. All right, so we have y equals the square root of, let's just say, 3x squared plus 2. And I want to take the derivative. Okay, so just what this says, I've got 2 times the square root of 3x squared plus 2, see, 2 times and then whatever your problem is, and then in the numerator is what? The derivative of what's underneath the square root. So the derivative of this would be 6x and then the derivative of 2 is 0, and so you can see that cancels and we're left with 3x over the square root of 3x squared plus 2. And there's your derivative. And you can see that's much, much quicker than <clears throat> changing it to a one-half power and using the chain rule so just remember you know and and this is what I always show my students and uh, and it's just a lot quicker to find the derivative like that so I hope this was a helpful video and and you can do it with any function that's underneath the square root doesn't matter it can be a trig function logarithmic function or whatever okay just remember, it's two times whatever the problem is, and then in the numerator, 
is the derivative of what's underneath the square root. So I hope this video helped. Uh, if you like them, you can subscribe. All right, thanks.